Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right, Cheech here with Fly Fish Food. Coming at you from Mother Goose Studios. You can see I'm tying on the uh, mongoose tonight. Um, we're going to do a real cool fly I've been playing with lately. Everybody loves Copper Johns. So this is a variation of a Copper John with no copper. Okay, so I have a... Daiichi 1530 in the vise. I really like this hook because it's 2x two, two short. So this is a size 12 fly, or a size 12 hook, and I'm going to tie roughly a size 14 fly on it because it's so short. Um, got a 2.8 millimeter bead on it, and I'm just going to dress my hook with some UTC 70 in purple. This is going to be all purple. and uh, purple biots. Okay, I've got those biots taken off the hook, or off the, uh, the stem, and I'm gonna lay those back to back. Sometimes they can be a little bit squirrely. So these are pinched back to back and they splay out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take those, and right about where this starts to bend, I'm going to take those and I'll pinch those onto the hook shank with my off hand and make a loose thread wrap and then kind of cinch down. And that will tie those in so that they're splayed like that. And then I'll just wrap those up and trim them off. Okay, so you can see that tail kind of hard on the blue shirt so bear with me here um, so this is the part where you put in a bunch of copper to the copper John so this is where this one's gonna change I'm gonna take some midge tubing um, now there's midge and micro tubing so I'm using the midge tubing it's bigger <clears throat> and I'll cut off a healthy chunk cool thing about this is it stretches so I'm going to tie some in right behind the bead here, and then I'm going to, oh. so I'm going to take some, and I tie it in right behind the bead, and then I stretch it back as I wrap my thread wraps back, right to where that tail starts. Now, this is the part of the Copper John where you need to really make sure that your thread is flat. It's not super critical here, but I will do it. It makes it easy if you have a really nicely balanced bobbin. And I've got this uh, TM code jobber. It's pretty nice. I actually like it better than the magnetic one. It's a little bit simpler to use. So once I have that thread uh, flattened or spun counterclockwise, I'm just going to wrap this up and create a little bit of a taper. Not too much. So you can see, just like that, there's our taper. Now I'm just going to take this tubing and I'm going to wrap that over my thread and it creates a nice little segmentation. So there's our body. And you can do this with a whole bunch of different flies. Pheasant tails like this. You can rib hare's ears with it. Okay, so fly's done, or the body's done so far. Um, and that tail wanted to twist on me a little bit. Not a big deal. So this is going to be a flashback. So I'll just take a little bit of, uh, medium opal tinsel and I'll tie that in. So once I have that tied in, I'm just going to wrap back over the body a bit. 
about to two thirds of the way down the body. And that's where our wing case is going to start. And then I'm just going to take some black thin skin. You can see I've been hacking this one up quite a bit. Okay, so I'll tie the thin skin right on top. And you can see that I'm kind of putting it on on the side of the hook like this. And then as I wrap my thread over, it just kind of rolls it over right on top. If it doesn't go right where you want it, you can retie it a few times. Better to do that than have a fly that doesn't look very good. Okay, so looks good right there. The thorax on this is just going to be purple eye stub. So we're wrapped all the way to the head here. And uh, for the legs, you can use partridge. Um, you can use hen. I actually have some whiting Brahma hen that is very similar to partridge. So I'm just going to take a few fibers and I'll tie them on each side of this. I mean, if you really wanted to get purpley, you could get purple ones. But I just, I'm using like a brownish color. So I've got those tied in how I want them to sit. And now I'll just come in and trim those off. And this is where a really good pair of fine, fine tipped scissors are. These are... Uh, TMCO scissors. I've been really liking them lately just because of how fine the tips are on them. Alright, so we're trimmed off there. And pull the first section of wing case over. And I'll just tie that down with two or three wraps. Make sure that my legs are doing what I want them to do. And then I'm going to trim that one off just by sticking these tips in here. And to me, this is this is the, the, the main reason why I like fine tip scissors is for bead-headed flies with wing cases. I'm going to pull the, the next section over. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that in right in front of where I tied that. Um thin skin off. There should be a little ridge right there. So I've just got that tied down with one wrap and if you put enough tension on it'll hold. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull it back over and make just a few more wraps there and then trim it off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a whip finisher and I will just do a couple turns for the whip finish. Now as a final step, I'm going to put some resin on this. And I want it to kind of bubble up. So I'm actually going to use Loon Thick on this one. So just put about that much on there. And just work that around. Looks like I could use a little bit more. Just like that. So I'll just hit this with the light. That's basically it. Um, if you want to put some flow on top, you can do that. I've actually just been using hard as whole over the top of thick, and that's kind of my favorite formula of super shiny resin. So I'll take some hard as whole, and uh, I actually did a little bit of a hack on this. I took the brush and I just yanked it out of this tube. And I stuck an upholstery needle up in there. So now I have a tube in it. 
or I mean a, a needle in it. I just like applying stuff with with needles better than than uh, than brushes. So anyway, there it is, the non-copper John. Because of the synthetics that we put in this, you can tie this in about infinity different colors. And fish eat it. Thanks for watching. You can get all this stuff at store.flyfishfood.com. Uh. Yeah.